Hi dear students, welcome back to your chemistry class. Today I am here with two new topics which are acids and bases. So I write both of them on the board. So we are going to study these two comparing to each other. What is acid? Let's start with acid first. The word acid comes from a Greek word which, call, which is uh, called acidus and it means sore, something sore. Swedish scientists, this is the definition, a Swedish scientist called Swant Arenus said that, what did he say? Acids are the compounds that produces or produce ions of hydrogen in water. So he said that when we dissolve some a compound in water, so that uh, in that water, if that compound produces ions of hydrogen, so that is called acid. Here we have an example, HCl. HCl is a compound and if we dissolve this in water, this is not a reaction, we dissolve this in water, it will divide into two parts, some positive ions and negative ions. The positive ions are the ions of hydrogen and the negative ions are ions of chlorine. So according to the definition of Mr. Swant Arenus, this is an acid. Why? Because it, it can produce ions of hydrogen in water. But there are some compounds that they are acids but they do not produce hydrogen in water. Why? Because actually they do not have any hydrogen. So there are some acids with no hydrogen. When they react with water, they produce acid. So how do we know that they are acid? Because they have the properties of acid. And the, having hydrogen is not the only property of acid. So uh, carbon dioxide that we study reacts with water. And then after reaction, it produces an acid. How do we know this is an acid? Because when we dissolve this in water, it will divide into two ions, the positive one, hydrogen, and the negative one. So we don't talk, we don't care about the negative one, but it produces the ions of hydrogen. So again, according to the definition of Mr. Arenus, this is an acid. And where did we get this one from? We get this one from carbon dioxide. So this one also have the properties of acid. Now, let's go to the bases. Bases also called alkalis. Alkali comes from, or actually it is an Arabic word, this word which means ash. So it is an Arabic word which means ash. Again, Mr. Swant Arinus, that Swedish uh, scientist said, bases are the compounds that produce ions of hydroxide. Hydroxide, OH, and totally the charge is minus one. This is hydroxide in water. So he means that if we dissolve a compound in water, and then if it produces OH or hydroxide in water, that compound is actually a base. This one is base because when we dissolve this in water, this will produce two ions positive of potassium and OH or hydroxide. But again, the same as acid, there are some uh, bases that they do not have uh, OH or ions of hydrogen. But because they have the properties of the uh, bases, uh, we can call them base. There are some bases with no OH. So, when they react with water, they produce OH. 
how do we know that they are at bases? Because when they react with water, they again have produce OH. So also have properties of bases. This one, ammonia plus water, when it re uh, reacts with water, it will divide into two parts, the positive ion and the negative ion. The negative ion is OH, hydroxide. So this is also a base. So that was all about the definition of the bases and um, acids. If you have any question, you can comment down below and ask me there. And for more videos, please subscribe our channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.